2020 has not been sufficiently crisis-laden for the People's Republic of China, it now faces the potential for major catastrophe due to massive rains. For much of the past several weeks, central China has been inundated by massive rainstorms, which have generated the country's third major flood for 2020. The massive runoff into the Yangtze has led to concerns that the Three Gorges Dam will be overstressed beyond its capacity to withstand the inflow. These concerns were not allayed when the state-run Xinhua news agency reported that there had been displacement, seepage, and deformation, translated from Wei, Shenliu, Bianxing, in the dam structure. Although these threat indicators are reportedly within normal parameters, there is still fear that the dam will collapse. Whether or not there is a dam collapse, the flooding of the Yangtze will have enormous effects in China and beyond, especially since the threat of dam collapse coincides with several other domestic crises. China's dams throughout its history, Chinese governments have sought to tame its rivers. The Yellow River, the second longest in China, has long been known as China's sorrow because of the various floods that have devastated communities along its 3,400 mile length. As the South China Morning Post has reported, as a result, various Chinese governments of all ideological stripes have sought to harness the power of China's rivers while also limiting their ravages. The result has been centuries of dams, levees, canals, and dikes. The non-governmental organization International Rivers estimates that China has some 87,000 dams. These have been built to control flooding, aid in irrigation, redirect the flow of rivers, especially to northern China, which has been suffering water shortages in recent years, and to generate electrical power. The Three Gorges Dam is perhaps the most well-known of all of these dams. It was given this name because of its location near three scenic gorges along the Yangtze. The idea of building a dam at or near this location was first broached by Sun Yat-sen, the father of modern China who overthrew the Qing dynasty. Sun envisioned a massive hydroelectric installation that would help electrify central China and catapult the nation into modernity. Both Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist government and planners from Imperial Japan who hoped to add China to the Japanese Empire during World War II, examined the area with the intent to harness the river. In the end, it was not until 1994 that ground was broken for the current dam. Completed in 2008, the dam is 185 meters tall and 2,309 meters wide. The waters from the dam power 34 generators, with a total of 22,500 megawatt output making the Three Gorges Dam the world's largest hydroelectric generating facility. In addition to generating electricity, the dam is also intended to help control the flow of the Yangtze as part of the flood control system for the entire Yangtze Basin. By adjusting how much water makes it into the middle and lower reaches, the Three Gorges Dam helps limit flooding of such cities as Wuhan and Nanjing. At the same time, the dam has also helped make the entire Yangtze a navigable river from Shanghai on the coast all the way to Chongqing, Chongqing, deep in central China. The resulting reservoir is some 660 kilometers long. Growing risk The Three Gorges Dam is only one of several dams built along the Yangtze. Although its reservoir is one of the largest, dams further upstream are often taller. The entire network needs to hold and release water in coordinated fashion in order to ensure that downstream reservoirs and overflow lakes are not overwhelmed all at once. This is becoming a problem in 2020, because the entire Yangtze River Basin, including rivers that feed the main Yangtze, have been subjected to an unprecedented series of massive rainstorms. As a result of the massive inflow of water, upstream dams are themselves under increasing stress as flooding inundates their catchment areas. To relieve the pressure, the Chinese have gone so far as to demolish a part of one small dam in nearby Anhui province that held back one of the tributaries feeding into the Yangtze. But opening the spillways on upstream dams would only increase the volume of water sluicing into the reservoir held back by the Three Gorges Dam. Indeed, the Three Gorges Dam itself has now had three flood peaks affecting the release of water from the massive reservoir. 
Reports suggest that water has been flowing into the reservoir at some 50,0060,0000 cubic meters a second, but due to concerns about flooding downstream cities, water is only being released at about 38,000 cubic meters a second. The reservoir, whose maximum level is 175 meters, has reached 164.18 meters exceeding its previous record of 163.11 meters in 2012. Impact of flooding The ongoing flooding raises several challenges for the authorities in Beijing. Economic. Downstream from the Three Gorges Dam, the Yangtze flows through a number of major Chinese urban centers, including Wuhan and Nanjing, before reaching the sea at Shanghai. The current flooding has already led to 140 deaths and 2 million displaced persons as cities and towns along the Yangtze and its tributaries have been evacuated. Millions more have been affected as farms, mines, and other businesses have been hit by flood waters. The flooding has affected China's economy, as businesses have lost inventory and production has been delayed. Similarly, transportation links across China have been disrupted leading to not only local and regional bugs.